Let me tell you something. Take heed. Because they're not happy for you. What part of you don't understand that these people will never be happy for you, trust me. But who cares how people feel? Because ain't no turning back anyway. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You gotta stop caring about what people think about you, man. Because it don't matter whether you're doing good or bad. They still gonna talk about you. So you might as well win anyway. Let me tell you something, man. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no more hanging out with these fake family members. Ain't no more hanging out with these so-called friends. Keep pressing towards the mark. They never gonna be happy for you. You gotta start taking heed to these warning signs. Take heed to their energy. Their energy never lies. Pay attention to their frequency when they're in your presence, man. They be on that low vibrational frequency. Let me tell you what's going on. A lot of people, they mad because guess what? You made it out of a place that they're still stuck in. So the minute you go around their presence, you thinking people going to be happy for you. You think people going to congratulate you. You think people, the people that grew up with you is going is to really, really push you to the next level. They not. Because you are simply doing better than them. Without even trying to do better than them. You're not even in competition with them, but yet they in secret competition with you. Let me tell you something. God chose you for the mission. He didn't choose them. So a lot of people are not going to be happy for your success. Who cares? Who cares? A lot of people are going to turn on you because God chose you for the mission. Huh. Who cares? A lot of people going to reveal and show their true colors the minute you start doing better than them. But guess what? Who cares? Because guess what? It was already destined. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of blows and say, I can care less of how you feel about me. It was already predestined before the foundation of this world. God already chose me before the foundation of this world. I can care less of what you think because it was going to happen anyway. Let me tell you something, children. You've been destined for greatness when you was in your mother's womb. Let me tell you something. A lot of people didn't know who they betrayed. A lot of people didn't know who they crossed at first because they thought you was a nobody, baby. But guess what? God kept on molding you and shaping you into the man and woman of God that you were supposed to be. I'm telling you what God was doing. He was preparing you for your greater. While everybody think he was getting punished, God was actually preparing you for your greater. So now when you come out in front of these karmas, guess what? They not going to be happy for you because they expected you to fall. They expected you to give up. You would be the least of one they expect to be the first multi-millionaire in your family. You was the least one they would thought that would be the first one to break these, uh, these generational curses in the family. This is why your family don't like you because you're not one of them. You're gifted, you're anointed, you have a calling on your life. And you don't even look like what you've been through, baby. This is why they can't, they can't stand you. This is why they not happy for you. Think about it. God is getting ready to put you in position to bless these karmics. Think about Joseph. They brothers didn't even know that they sold they, they own little baby brother out. They didn't know that. They sold Joseph for a few pieces of silver. Coming to find out, Joseph down there in the pit, he out, he down there interpreting dreams. Let me tell you something. His brothers didn't know. They didn't know who they uh, betrayed. They didn't know who they sold out. But let me tell you something. They know now when, when, when God raised, uh, raised Joseph up to be king. Now Joseph is king of Egypt. Let me tell you what's going on. His brothers have to come back. They was going through a famine. Let me tell you what's going on. That's why you got to be very careful when you put your mouth on the chosen one. Joseph's brothers was going through a famine. They brothers needed to eat. They needed some food. They family needed to be getting taken care of. They needed money. They needed clothes. Let me tell you something. So God allowed his brothers to go back to Joseph to see who they actually betrayed. Let me tell you something. God will send you back into these people's lives, whether they're happy for you or not. God will send you back into these people's lives, whether they talk about you or not. God will send you right back into these people's lives so you can be a living witness to these people. So, so God can show them that he still lives. So God can show them that he's proven a point through you. Let me tell you something. 
So Joseph's brothers is going back. They're going through a famine. They, they asking this king. They say, hey, man, we're going through a famine. We need you right now. And coming to find out, let me tell you something. Joseph got a big heart. So Joseph went to the corner. He started crying. He got in his feelings because guess what? He realized that that was his brothers coming back. See, Joseph ain't never had a jealous bone in his body against his brothers. Joseph always loved his brothers, but guess what? His brothers hated him because Joseph was so favored by his father. Joseph was so favored by God. So Joseph, guess what? He had a big enough heart to go in the corner and cry and say, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do right now. They don't even know I'm the king right now, Lord. What should I do right now? And you got to realize, Charles, that God going to send you back into people's lives and you're going to see your family struggling. You're going to see the friends that you grew up with. They're going to be struggling. And you got a big heart. They don't even know that. Guess what? Somebody pray for your evil self. Somebody is praying for your jealous behind. Somebody is praying. This chosen one is praying for you. This chosen one kept you on their mind. They took the time out and prayed for you. And you got the nerve not to be happy for me. You praying for people and guess what? They're not even knowing you praying for them. They're not even knowing you praying for them to come up. They're not even knowing you praying for them to succeed. You praying for them to make it to the next level. You praying for them to get to this bag. You praying that God will make a way for them. But guess what? They constantly praying on your downfall. They constantly jealous and having hatred towards you. They constantly want to overlook your anointing. But I'm here to tell you right now, God is transitioning you from being from overlooked to abundantly blessed. Don't you tell me what my God won't do, baby. Because you got a big enough heart to pray for people that don't even like you. And this is why God plant your feet on higher ground. Because of your heart. Because of the prayers that you have prayed for people. The Bible says the prayers of a righteous man avail of much. And guess what? You've been righteous. You've been faithful of a few things. So God made you ruler over many nations. You ain't never went out seeking revenge on people. So God said, let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to fight your battles. I'm getting ready to put you in higher position. I'm getting ready to reverse these roles. Because guess what? They mistreated you so bad. And you have such a good heart. I'm getting ready to place you in a position. Let me tell you something. Fly high to the sky and don't you look back. The sky's the limits for you. Ain't no turning back. Who cares how people feel? Excuse my French, but who gives a damn if they going through a storm? Did nobody help you through your storm? Who cares if people struggling right now? Guess what? You went through the struggle. People have the same amount of time. They have the same amount of energy. They have the same amount of time to, to, to bounce back on their feet just like you did. Tell them to keep that same energy, man. They ain't never going to be happy for you. But watch when you, you know what I'm saying, watch, God forbid, but let's say, God forbid, if you lose, if you go back to struggling, let me tell you something, man, people going to be all up in your face, and they're going to be all up in your business, because guess what, you out here losing, you struggling, they feel like they got the upper hand on you, but the minute when God raised you to the upper room, they're not going to be happy for you, you got people, I'm talking about, man, people are infuriated right now over your success. They can't believe that God chose you for the mission, baby. They can't believe it's you the one that's the anointed and the appointed one. You the one that's going to lead people, amen, to their salvation. You the one. So take heed, man, to these warning signs. Be not ignorant concerning Satan and his devices, man. When people are not happy for you, remove yourself from these people, man. Let me tell you something. When people are jealous of you and they are envy of you, if they want to clap for you when you win, stay from around these people, man. Get around some people that want to see you win. Get around some people that want the best for you. Let me tell you something. Everybody not going to like you. Everybody not going to support you. And everybody not going to, hey amen, not going to support you to the very end. Get somewhere and, and, and put your trust in God and get somewhere and hang out with some people that really want to see you make it to the next level and you can feel it on them. Because I'm telling you right now, a lot of people, they are, are, are very, very miserable because you've made it out of a pit that they are still stuck in. So ain't no turning back because the minute you go back, guess what? You done delay your own, your own route to the promised land. The minute you turn back, guess what? You done destroyed everything you and God built. The minute you turn back and go back to what you used to be. Go back to hanging out with these people that was jealous, jealous of you in the first place. Go back to these people that disrespected you. The minute you turn back, I promise you, you might as well forget it. You ain't, you ain't going to make it to the promised land.
you might as well forget it. God not giving you your breakthrough because you're not ready for it. You're going back to the same people that broke you down. It don't make any sense. You might as well win. You might as well get to the next level. You might as well get to this paper. You might as well start performing your gift for the Lord. You might as well serve because guess what? In order for you to be great, you must serve God. And there is no turning back. There is no way we can't live without the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't be here today, chosen ones. So let me tell you something, man. Who cares how people feel about you? Who cares about what people thinking about you? These people, hey man, guess what? They're not taking care of you. These people not feeding you. These people, hey man, they ain't washing your clothes. These people not providing a roof over your head. Let me tell you something. Some of you guys are in your feelings because certain people won't support you. Certain people can't go with you, so you big man because of the relationship that you used to have. Let me tell you something, man. That relationship is over with. That time is up. God told me to tell you that their time is up in your life and your time is now. God said either you want this breakthrough or you don't. Either you want these blessings or you don't. Because guess what? If you don't want it, I'm going give to give it to somebody who's going to really deserve them. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. This next level is not for the weak. This next level is not for the vulnerable. Let me tell you something. You got to be strong to be alone. You got to be strong to get all these blessings from God. You going to be alone when God elevates you to the next level, whether you like it or not. Because let me tell you something. Nobody going to really be happy for you, to be honest with you. Don't nobody want to see you win knowing that they losing. Don't nobody really want to see you better than them. They're not a part of your success. Let's keep it 100 with you. Don't nobody want to see you shining bright like a diamond and they out here struggling, stressed out, looking pale. Let me tell you something. Who cares what people are saying about you right now? Because God chose you for the mission. Who cares? Because guess what? God gave you the key to prosperity. You win and they losing. Who care less for what people are thinking about you? You keep on striving. You keep on pressing towards the mark. Because guess what? Believe it or not, you inspiring these comments right now. You their biggest inspiration, baby. Even though they mad, even though they cussing, they cussing out other people behind you. I understand what I'm saying? Even though they might be mad and taking their anger out on somebody else behind you. Let me tell you something, man. They ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. They not paying you. They not on your payroll. They not helping you get into this bag. They not helping you get into this paper. They're not helping you become the best version of yourself. If anything, guess what? They only seen the worst in you. God was the one that seen the best in you. You better pay attention to who really got your back or who really don't got your back. You better take heed to what's going on around you. You better take heed to the energy that is going around you because you're winning right now. Stop stop trusting everybody. Stop, stop, stop being so loving towards everybody. Stop being overly nice, oversharing good news to people. Everybody not happy for you. So what part do you don't even understand? How many times I got to preach this to you? How many times God got to tell you to be ye separate, to come out from amongst these people? Let me tell you something. They not happy for you, and I don't think they will ever be happy for you, man, because you know why? They not winning like you, man. A lot of people are really struggling. A lot of people are going through it financially. They done lost it spiritually. A lot of people done lost it all together. And they gonna do anything in their power to drain you of your energy. Get from around these energy vampires. I promise you, the minute you around these people, you gonna feel like you on a level. You gonna feel like that you gotta stoop down to their level. You gonna feel like that you can't get to the next level. Get from around these Debbie ass doubters and keep pressing towards the mark because eyes have not seen nor ears haven't heard the plans that God has in store for you. Get from around these karmics and get ready to walk on the red carpet. Get ready to sit on the throne. Get ready to take back what the devil thought he stole from you. Because there's a reason why these people not even happy for you. It's because God chose you. 
So I could care less of how people feeling right now. You might as well go cry when you get in the car. You must have believed they gonna cry when, when they get in the car. They gonna cry, amen, when they get home. They gonna go cry in their little old corner. They gonna be in timeout over you. You got people in timeout. They, 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 they rethinking this. I mean, they scratching their head and they ass at the same time because, because look, look where God brought you from. They like, man, this, this brother, this sister just to survive the trap that I done set for them. I can't believe this. Here it is. You don't even look like what you've been through. And they look like every bit of what they've been through. You better pay attention to what I'm about to say right now. A lot of people are not going to be happy for you because guess what? You came out unburned. You came out untouched. You don't even look like your storm. You don't even look like them struggles. You don't even look like them obstacles. You don't even look like all that pain that you endured. You look like a totally new person. And you wonder why people can't even recognize you. You wonder why people can't put their finger on it. Oh, I knew it was you. I, I knew that was you that pulled up. Oh, I knew that God was going to bless you. No, you didn't. Because you the same one that was hating on me. So I'm going to take right now to keep that same energy. Because guess what? I don't care. I can care less about how you feel about me. Because as long as I got King Jesus, guess what, baby? I'm going to win. So you might as well win, children. Because guess what? We're on our way to the next level. We the chosen.